In our lesson today, we shall be looking at the present value of ordinary annuity in business maths. This is maths solution. My name is Justice Johnson. You are welcome. Now, if you are just joining us in for the first time, um, I would like you to subscribe. And as you subscribe, make sure you also hit the bell icon, which will notify you each time we upload a video. And if you've been watching all our videos and you've not yet subscribed, please, we want to urge you to encourage you to do so. You know it's not fair to be enjoying all these lessons and yet not subscribing. So please do hit the subscription button and then um, subscribe and then you can go on to enjoy these lessons. Now let's get right into the lesson at hand. Present value of ordinary annuity in business maths. We're quickly going to take the definitions. In the definitions here about your present value of ordinary annuity, here the present value of annuity of ordinary annuity is the present worth of for sure payments adjusted to time. It is also the amount of cash required today to produce future payments. Now, like as I mentioned in the first lesson, if you have not watched the first lesson on future value of ordinary annuity in business smarts, please, I will encourage you to pause this video and go and view that particular one before coming back to watch this one. There are so many things we've already exposed and I would not want to spend much time in explaining in details, but let us go straight to the present value formula. How do we get the present value formula so that we can use it to solve questions on um, present value uh, of ordinary annuity? Now, let's start. For the formula we use for the present value, we have that P equals M then our squared bracket then we open our bracket okay we have one minus we do this then we have one plus i then power negative n and then we close the squared bracket and write down our i so this is what we have please mind, don't mind me made a mistake here okay all right so we have one minus into bracket one plus i power negative n then divided by what by i this is the formula we use now for our lesson today i am going to modify this formula so that we will have a linear formula and then from there that is what i'll be using to solve all the problems in this lesson today so we can still say that p is equals to m now this i at the denominator i'm going to write it up that is by taking the inverse so i'll write it as i power negative one then open my brackets then one minus one plus i then power negative then we close the bracket so this is the formula this is the version i'll be using to solve problems on um, present value. I, I, I want to use this formula because it's very easy, okay? So I'll be using the scientific calculator. Please, if you don't have a scientific calculator, go get it because that's what we shall be using throughout in this lesson. So now let's go straight to solving some problems. Let's take our example one. Now, in our example one, it reads, suppose you can afford 40,000 naira per month for a new car. The current interest rate is 15% and you do not want to extend the payment for more than five years. How much can you afford to pay for the car to the nearest naira? Now, in taking the solution, The very first thing we do is to first of all consider if this question is a present value, um, you know, question. Now, for the present value, according to the definition, it has to do, if you take a look at this question here, it says, suppose you can afford 40,000 naira per month 
for a new car the current interest rate is 15 percent and you do not want to extend the payment for more than five years how much can you afford to pay for the car to the nearest naira you have you, you want to buy a car and but you don't have the, the the money presently probably you want to know how much you can be able to pay for the car you will need to go for a car loan and in getting the car loan presently you don't have that amount of money in your account okay so but you have to go for a car loan and once you've met every requirement the bank cannot cannot be able to give you the the loan now what is there is this you have the money with you now that with which you are going to buy the car then you would have to pay back and in paying back you would have to pay some certain amount of money monthly on a regular basis uh, over a spread of a particular time period in order to meet up that loan. Now, this is a case of present value. Why? Because instead of receiving the payment towards the end of your, um, your deposit, you, it, it is brought forward. It is adjusted to time and brought forward in order for you to be able to use it to get what you want. So this is a case of um, present value. So let's write out the parameters. Now, we are told here that suppose you can afford 40,000 Naira per month. So, which means that the amount that is the cash deposited M is what? 40,000. I've already told us all this in lesson one. So, let's go ahead to apply the concept here. And then the current interest rate is 15%. So, the annual in our rate is what 15 percent you already know what to do convert the 15 to decimals by dividing it by 100 and that will give us 0 0.15 okay and then we are told for, for more for uh, more than five years how much can you afford to pay for the car to the nearest nearer okay he doesn't want to extend the loan for more than five years so in this case our t will become five all right so t will become five then our n which is the frequency of payments compounded uh in this case is going to be what monthly so the question did not directly say it but you have to fish it out yourself here it says suppose you can afford forty thousand naira per month so it is compounded what monthly so n is equals to 12. all right so what do we do we get our interest rate which is the ratio of r to n and our r as you can see here is what 0 0.15 then we divide that by 12 and in doing that division we would need our calculator to quickly do that now in doing this we see 0 0.15 0 0.15 divided by 12 and um we are 0 0.0125 so write out the answer 0 0.0125 all right so we get our n and that will give us n t and n is 12 t is 5 if you multiply out you have 60. all right so these are the things we're going to do um from here what do we do next we now apply the formula so we say using using what our p equals m then we have one minus one plus i power negative n close the bracket divide by i then in, i'm going to be using this as i told you before the second aspect of it so we have m i power negative one then one minus open bracket one plus i then minus and we we'll close the bracket so this is one i would like to be using so at this point now let's fix in the parameters our n we already know it as what forty thousand. so write it forty thousand times times i inverse our i is zero point zero one two five then the inverse of it then in bracket one minus open bracket we have one plus our i 0 0.0125 then we close the brackets and put our minus what 60 and that's what we're going to do 
All right, so in the next step here, we are still going to write out our 40,000 multiplied into 0 0.0125 power, okay? Then the reason why we did that is so that we can add up what we have in the bracket here. Then we have one point, if you add up one plus 0 0.0125, you have 1.0125 power negative 60. Then you have this. So we are going to use our calculator now to solve this particular value so that we can be able to get our answers. We're going to use our calculator very quickly. So we say 40,000, 40,000, that is a 40,000 times. Then we have 0 0.0125, 0 0.0125 power minus 1. So where do we have our power minus 1? Here we have it. You can see that. Once you press it, you can see it comes up here. Then we open the bracket and then we write 1, 1 minus, minus what? 1.0125, 1.0125, then power negative 60 power negative 60 then we close the bracket so immediately we solve this and press our equals to it's going to give us the answer directly so we are going to write out the answer here which is one six eight one and then we have three eight uh three eight three point six seven so that's exactly what we have here okay as you can see here now the question did say we should get this to the nearest to the nearest naira and in doing this now we have to convert this to the nearest naira so we write our one six eight one then three eight now before writing this three after the decimal point you see that six is rounded up we add it to the three it becomes four so we write this then two the nearest nearest what nearest naira all right so that is the answer to the first question i believe that was quite easy for you to understand uh, let us quickly take the second question to this all right now in the second question here you can see the question says a civil servant gets one million four hundred thousand housing loan at an annual interest rate of ten percent. Now it goes on to say if the loan is for thirty years term, find the monthly payment the civil servant is expected to pay now this question is quite um, different from the first example we took why let us go into the lesson so that you will see the reason why so we take our solution now in taking the solution let us get the fact out of the question it says a civil servant gets this now, this money is not the money he's supposed to get presently. Now, if he had been putting a particular amount of money, he would have to wait to the end in order to get the, um, the total sum of that money he has been depositing in a particular account. Okay? But now, it has, the money has to be brought forward. It has to be brought to the present because he needed to use it to what? To get a house. And that's why this money, 1400000 is for his what? Housing loan. Okay? So, this money that is here is the present value for the house so we are going to write our p to become one four hundred thousand all right so it goes on to say at an annual interest rate of what ten percent so our r is what ten percent you already know what that is ten divided by a hundred and that will give us 0 0.1 okay then um, we are told if the loan is for 30 years that means t is equals to what is equals to 30 okay 
Then it goes on to say, um, what else again? Find the monthly payments. We are looking for the monthly payments. So which means we are talking about the cash deposited in this case, which we do not know. Okay, so but what is our aim? Since the payment is done monthly, we can assume that the frequency of payment is what? 12 months. Okay, that is for one year. Okay, then from here we can get our I, which is the ratio of R to N. Our R is 0 0.1, our N is 12. And if we do this division quickly with our calculator, we are going to have 0 0.1. 0 0.1 divided by 12 and this will give us uh, 0 0.00 you can see this negative 0 0.3 you are seeing here is actually 0 0.00 okay so write it out 0 0.00 then we'll write the number here without the decimal point 833 so let's take it 833 okay let's do that then finally our n Will become the product of n and t which is 12 then multiply that by 30 because our t from what we have here is 30 and if you do that multiplication you're going to have 360 so these are the facts that we've already gotten so now let's use let's take our formula so we are using using what our p equals don't forget what i told you we are going to use m i power negative one then open the bracket one minus into bracket one plus what plus i then power negative n we close the bracket so that is what we are going to use here so we already know that our p is one four hundred thousand we do not know what our n is then we multiply that by our i from what we calculated here, our I is 0 0.00, then 833 power negative 1, then into bracket, we have 1 minus open bracket, 1 plus 0 0.00833, then we close the bracket, minus 360, and we do this. Okay. Now, over here we shall have, um, we have our M multiplied into 0 0.00, then we have 833 power minus 1, then we have open bracket 1 minus, adding up what we have here, that's the reason why we are doing this, so we have 1.00833, everything to power minus 360 then we close the bracket so at this point now we are going to use the calculator to do this now please in using the calculator bear in mind that we are going to only use this to multiply everything we have in the bracket here so let's start now we have 0 0.00833 0 0.00833 then of course put power minus one and that will show up then we open the brackets we open the bracket then one minus minus what 1.00833 then power minus 360 uh, 360 and then close the bracket now if we do this and press this we are going to have this answer so which means over here we are going to have one four hundred thousand then here after multiplying this look at the answer we've gotten so we say one one three point nine eight nine then two then we'll write our what our m so at this point now we are going to divide both sides by this value one one three point nine eight nine two so that we can get the value for our n so we have one one three point nine eight nine two now in doing this we are finally going to arrive at the value for n let's divide these values so we say one four hundred that is um okay so we have one million four hundred thousand then we divide this by 
113.1139892. So if we do this division, 13 divided by 9892, as you can see there, press the answer. That will give us that will give us one, two, then we have two, eight, one, then point eight, six. Okay, so that's what it's going to give us. One, two, two, eight, one, point, what, eight, six. That is talking about 12,281. Now, that is how we take, how we solve this second example. I believe you are following me in these lessons. Um, we have come to the end of the lesson today, but before we wrap it up, I would like you to take a look at these assignments displaying on the screen now. I want you to do this assignment and you will get my email address at the description link of this video. I want you to do this assignment and send the answers to me. I'm not going to say, I may make a random selection and give a prize um, if I see that most of you are turning up uh, with, you know, for the answers. I'm going to give a prize and I'll announce the name of the person in my next lesson. Stay blessed.